Hi everyone. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Uh, this is my YouTube channel where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. Now today's video is very special video because we are starting or uh, building our own agents. So this is the next part in my Copilot Studio and Agent series where I've been talking about how do you create your agents using Copilot Studio. In the last video, I started talking about how do you connect with the data of uh, finance and operations. Now I'm focusing on that. Okay, if I have to build uh, my own custom agent with the finance and operation with one particular use case, how can I build that? So today we are going to build a one custom agent in FNO. Just a quick disclaimer before I start, uh, anything is added in this or shown in this video is my personal view. This has nothing to do with my employer or any other entity. Now let's start with building this custom agent with a use case. So for example, you have wants to control its main account creation process uh, in the chart of account and also provide the flexibility to the users for viewing the existing main accounts and the related information. Now, as part of this thing, uh, user should be able to create a request uh, or new main account and the request should go through the approval process for creation. And we all know that in Microsoft Dynamics 3 Finance and Operation, chart of account creation is very important. And a lot of global organizations in the global rollout, they have many legal entities and they have also time to time requirement of creation of new main account. Now that main account creation process is a ma mostly a manual process where a lot of approvals and the creation before the creation is uh, taken and then someone creates a main account because we know that there is no standard workflow available in Dynamics 365. I know this is a very small use case, but let's start with this small use case that how the agent can help in solving this problem. Now, we can build an agent for this specific uh, uh, requirement where we can say that, okay, we want to uh, build an agent for chart of account manager. It should have an option of requesting or viewing the main account. Now, how we will do this? We will do this through the topic creation. If it is a new main account, uh, then it should trigger an email. We can use the agent flow for that. And if it is approved, it should create a new main account by calling the entity in Microsoft Dynamics 365. If it is rejected, it should not create any main account which we have requested. Now let's look at the demo for this and how we can already build an agent. So this is my Copilot Studio. I can go to my agents tab and this is where I have created one chart of account manager, the agent here. Now in this, if you have looked, if you have watched my earlier videos uh, on a day to day basis, on a regular basis, the Copilot Studio is getting changed. It is getting updated. So a lot of uh, different changes are there. There are different options available now here, and there are different ways to uh, create your agent. Now what I've done here is that I provided a simple description. I have uh, provided certain uh, instructions, which I want to follow this agent and then what i have done is that i have not created any uh, great thing here what i have done is that i have used a topic now i've created one of my topic which is called as my uh, chart of account and uh, coa now this is what we are where i have used for managing my use case so now i have just created this with a trigger where user can ask for view chart of account, show chart of account, create a new main account uh, and so on. So you can define your, all your prompt. All these things you should be familiar now. If not, then you can watch my uh, earlier videos in the same series. Now here I have given that what you would like to do. Would you like to do the view the main account or request? What I've done in this uh, specific video, I have tried uh, Create, I've tried doing one part of this whole use case where requesting a main account. So let's say user is asking for a main account. So I have created that, okay, request a new main account. 
okay when user is requesting a main account uh, selection then it should ask for the input and here i have used uh, for a better user interface i have used uh, adaptive card and one of the good thing is that now adaptive cards are available within the uh, uh, Dy dynamics uh, within the copilot studio so you can create your adaptive card here itself and i have designed my adaptive card uh, within the copilot studio now once that adaptive card is done uh, i have uh, uh, created uh, i have taken all those inputs the so i have taken three inputs key input for this if you want in your use case you can take more use uh, more inputs so i have taken id uh, the main account id description and the type whether it's a uh, asset liability revenue or expense now once that is done i have just created a simple flow and by providing all these three input now let's look at what this flow looks like so if i click on uh, and then for creating a adding a flow what you can do is that you can always uh, click on this plus sign and when you click on add tool you can click on the new agent flow to add any flow in the topic now i have done that so i will just show you the what flow i have created now this is my flow uh, i will go to the designer here and then here what i have just done i have just created when an agent uh, calls a flow i have just passed all the inputs which i am capturing then I have used this uh, 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 the start and wait for an approval. So I have just used uh, the approve and this, and then I have used that this, and then I have defined the the message which I want the uh, want in the uh, message in the email when it is triggering to 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 the approver. Now, once that is done, I am capturing the outcome uh, of this, that uh, final where your request has been approved or reject. And I'm just passing a simple message. You can make it more better uh, where it is approved. We will create, we will have main account created as the submit a new request. Now, after that, what I'm doing is that I'm putting a condition uh, that if uh, my outcome is approved, then go ahead and create a record in dynamics 365 finance and operations uh, the environment where you can have the entity the chart of account main account description and type i'm just passing for as an input if not then there is no action required here now once that is done i can go back to my uh, uh, agent here and that is what i have done uh, to create this specific agent here now let's test this out uh, what i can do is that i can uh, uh, create a, uh, i can create a new uh, main account here so i can say that create new main account now ideally it should ask me two options which is like you want to create or view so it's saying that uh, these two options are there so i have worked on this so i will say that create me new main account now let's go to our child our dynamics 365 let's say i want to create an account uh, after this so i will just copy and then provide the input so if you see it is asking in a adoptive card so i can say that i want to create 12163 test account and then here i can select uh, i want to have this type of this thing now once i submit what it is going to do is that it is going to trigger a, a, a notification so what i'll do is that i have to just connect uh, this thing with my user so i will just submit for this so this is connected now so i will just go and retry so it should just now trigger my approval flow and it should send me the in, uh, email so i will get the uh, email as well as uh, i will receive an email uh, and as, a, as well as on the teams so what i can see is that uh, it has uh, triggered an email to me 
and let me show you how the email looks so you can see that this has created an email with the subject line then this is a new main account it is required rate created and it is like uh, a type of revenue test and this and then i have an option of approve or reject i can just approve this now once this is approved you see that agent is sending that your request has been approved uh, and then if it is approved it will create a main account and submit a new request now we can go and look at if refresh this and see if it has created a main account or not so if you see this it has created a main account after the approval now if i would have uh, rejected this then it would have not created the main account by following the power automate flow so this is the classic uh, use case where you can have uh, uh, you can start your journey of building the custom agents that how you can create your own agent and then how you can uh, um, use for fno purpose so that's it uh, for uh, this specific video uh, hope this will help you in thinking about that how you can create your own agent and how you can also use an option of creating the uh, record in uh, microsoft dynamics 365 let me also explain one of the key thing that how i have created the record in the fno so what i will do is uh, i'll show you the quickly the flow which has that option so i'll show you that uh, in the option so here when you click on the plus you have different options available here for so you have a connector already available to create or update record in fno and when you want to create you can just select the instance where you want to create your entity name which you want to use data entity and then the key mandatory fields which you need to pass on so if you know that for the main account creation we need to have main account name and the description available and then apart from that if you have more fields to be passed on or updated or created you can click on show all here and then here you will see that all rest of the uh main rest of the fields in the main account entity which you want to update if you have captured as part of inputs then you can do this thing so that is how you can create the record in your uh, uh, finance and operation uh, using the copilot studio so hope this helps you to uh this holds you uh, no, helps you to create the agent in in copilot studio and with a specific uh, use case so that's it for uh, today's video uh, and uh, i will create a few more use cases and share with you all thank you